The Italian invasion of Ethiopia in 1935 cemented the nation's shift of alliance and trust from Britain and France over to Germany, who sought to expand their territorial and economic capabilities until they were strong enough to fight against Europe. The German annexations of Austria and Czechoslovakia, therefore, tend to be where most attention is given leading up to the Second World War. However, Italy shared the same territorial drive, and following the end of the campaign in Ethiopia, set another nation in its sight. In this video, we will be talking about the Italian annexation of Albania. This wasn't the first time that Italy had attempted to annex the nation. In 1920, the two fought in what would be named the Vlora War, where the Albanians managed to gradually push the Italians out of native Albanian land that they had occupied during the First World War. Following this failure, and the unrest immediately following, tensions between the two nations smoothed somewhat, and the Italian government aimed to focus more on rebuilding after the near decade of constant war. However, with the rise of fascism within Italy in the mid-twenties and Benito Mussolini's rise to power, interest in an Albanian annexation came back into a main focus. Many fascists within the nation aimed to have a re-emergence of the Roman Empire. Italy began penetration of the Albanians' economy in 1925, when Albania agreed to allow Italy to exploit its mineral resources in returns for substantial loans that the nation desperately needed. Italy also managed to infiltrate the Albanian army, with many of its officers being from Italy, and the army as a whole trained by such officers. Many of these men were also being placed in high positions within the Albanian government. In 1927, the two nations entered into a defensive alliance with one another. Even with this, though, Albanian King Zog I was more than aware of what the Italians were trying to do. He refused to bend fully to Italian pressure and managed to gain alliances with its neighbors in Greece and Yugoslavia. And he attempted to change the nation's economic dependency on Italy, where over a third of the Albanian imports came from. After the German annexation of Czechoslovakia, Mussolini was a bit miffed, and started to feel as a lesser within the Pact of Steel. Against the wishes of Italian King Victor, an ultimatum was sent to Tirana on March the 25th of 1939, with it demanding that the nation succumb to Italian occupation. The Tsar government tried to keep the news of it under wraps, but it was leaked by unofficial sources to the public, and hundreds of Italian planes dropped leaflets over the major cities, instructing the citizens to succumb to the occupation. This led to a massive amount of anti-Italian demonstrations within the major cities, and the Albanian army mobilized as the government fled the country. On April the 7th, the Italians, which numbered some 22,000, launched an invasion on four main Albanian ports. The Albanian army numbered some 15,000, but they were all largely poorly equipped, and many of the officers were, had left their men, leaving only half of them under direct leadership. Even with this, though, King Zog planned to station the nation's army within the mountains, aiming to use the guerrilla, hit-and-run, and attrition tactics that had suited the nation so well during the First World War. However, the Italian officers had managed to sabotage the plan, as the artillery had been disabled, and the army ended up lacking ammunition for many of the guns. This left roughly 3,000 gender arms and a number of citizens to fight against the Italians. At their S, 500 Albanians tried to halt the Italian advance. They were armed with mostly small guns, three machine guns, and artillery from a patrol boat, but they managed to hold off the Italians for a good portion of the day until the Italians managed to land a number of light tanks that the defenders couldn't knock out. This resulted in the city falling within the next few hours. By 1.30 of that day, all of the ports had been occupied. King Zog with his family and a good portion of the nation's gold reserve fled to Greece, and the public within Tirana raised the palace and liberated the prisoners during a riot. The Italians marched into the city to minimal resistance the following morning. 
after this little resistance was met, with the remaining Albanians ordered to stand down. Two officers and their men in Schoenler refused this order, and they fought against the Italians the whole day until they ran out of ammunition. The order to stand down didn't stop many partisans and nationalist groups from fighting against the Italians, though, and they were proved to be a fatal thorn in their side and later the German occupiers. On April the 12th, the Albanian parliament voted to depose King Zog and put Albania under union with Italy with King Victor III gaining the crown five days later. In general, the Italian invasion was poorly planned, badly executed, and succeeded only because Albanian resistance was too weak. The nation withdrew from the League of Nations, and Mussolini declared the creation of the Italian Empire hence after, with Albania being essentially installed as another province within the nation. The region's trade and economic wealth was dominated by the Italians, and only Italy could conduct any agreements with third parties. The nation was used as a base for the Italian invasion of Greece in 1940, but that is a topic for another time. <laughs>